Good day to you. I'm Dr. Tim Tudin, the pastor and founder of Harvest Christian Ministries in Baltimore County, Maryland. It's Sunday where you are, or it may be a different time or day, depending on what part of the world you live in. But I want to just say to you, it's so good to see you. And I'm so thankful for this medium uh, called Facebook that we can share together and can talk about the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. I want to pray with you for a moment and then uh, we'll have a discussion, a prayer, a word of encouragement, preaching, whatever you want to call it today. Uh, but this is in lieu of our Facebook Live. And many of you have been joining us uh, from coast to coast and all over the world every Sunday at about 920 for our Facebook Live today. That's been suspended. Uh, we're going to have this today instead of Facebook Live. But we'll join you next week. Father, we thank you for this opportunity just to share good news and words of encouragement with your people today. I pray that no matter what folk are going through anywhere in the world, uh, that you might minister to their needs in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, we're excited because today we're celebrating 11 years as a ministry. Back in January of 2006, uh, God led us to start a congregation in Baltimore County, Maryland, specifically in the Perry Hall area. And uh, he's just been so faithful. God has sent us some great people. And I just want to take a moment uh, from my Harvest Studio just to talk to you, and I, I pray your day is going well. No matter what you're facing, uh, know that God is able. What we need to talk about today, I think, is this sense of, of what is your status. Uh, if you look on the news, uh, even today, uh, there's so much upheaval going on about people and their status, uh, what country they're from and what country they're going to, and what is your status in your faith. That becomes the larger question for me. Uh, are you a believer? What do you believe in? What is your faith status? And Jesus speaks a word to his disciples where he says to them that people will know that you are my disciple based on how you love one another. Now, that's pretty deep. That folk on the outside will be able to look at you and say, you know what? I believe that they are followers of Christ based on how they love each other. And so know that your status ought to be that of someone who is filled with the Spirit of God, someone who is not uh, caught into political system, but someone who is really looking for the greater good of loving people. Now, I've got so many opinions, and so do you, but I keep wanting to bring it back to the main thing, and that is uh, how are we walking in our faith? We can disagree on uh, candidates and policies and the like, but as a people of God, our status ought to be, as you would have it with your Facebook account, is that my status is that I am a spirit-filled believer of Jesus Christ. Now that said, uh, I just feel like we need to do more in regards to love. And Christ preached love. And that's why he said to them that even though uh, my status is going to change because I'm going to leave you, I'm going to be betrayed, uh, I'm going to be beaten, I'm going to die, but I'm going to rise again. And my status will go from just uh, the here and now uh, to Jesus Christ who sits on the right hand of the Father. So just take a moment, wherever you are today, to think about uh, how would you want to be identified? Uh, what is on your spiritual passport? Uh, is there something there that describes you? And I do believe that uh, the Lord uh, meant what he said when he says that, other folk will see you and based on your status, can I just stay right there for a moment? Based on your status, I know that you're my disciple. Now you may be hurting, you may be going through situations right now, you may be angry, uh, but take that and let that not be a part of what makes you. Uh, maybe uh, you're upset, uh, maybe you are being challenged on many places, but when the Lord looks at you and I, uh, may he see uh, his creation. Uh, may he see someone who is yet striving and growing. And even here in Maryland, uh, in our great state of Maryland, I have connections to the great state of Florida. I got connections to West Virginia. I've lived a couple of different places, but I am so free in knowing that I am a disciple of Jesus Christ. No matter where I go, my status ought not change. Uh, people ought to be able to see me and have a conversation with me uh, be it at a coffee house or a store or a movie house, and just sense the Spirit of God operating within one's life. And so today I just want to encourage you, uh, as we celebrate 11 years 
uh, pull up a cup of coffee or get your favorite beverage and just take time to meditate on the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Also, let me just plug for a second uh, that my gift is encouragement. Now, I pastor the church. I preach on Sundays, but I find ways to encourage people every place I go. I really do. If I go to the store to buy a loaf of bread, it may take me a half an hour because why? I'm going to encourage somebody and say, boy, those grapes sure do look good today. It gets me into a conversation with them. If I'm buying a cup of coffee, I'll talk in line. You know that kind of person, that, that's me, who will make a conversation, will give you a smile and just try to encourage you in the Lord. And what is evident is that's my status, is, is love. What is your status? What do people see in you when they have a conversation with you? And so every day, uh, by way of this medium, we do something called Seeds of Encouragement. It's a one minute devotional uh, that I've done for the past year and a half that I take my little moment to say to you, you can make it, uh, God loves you. Uh, but your status ought to be one that says, there is someone who is following the Lord Jesus Christ. And today, as you listen to this, you may uh, be going through something. I'm very cognizant of that. Not everybody is up and happy and worried about their status, but there may be things happening in your life. You just need someone to pray for you. Well, let me tell you, uh, as you hit like and as you comment, know that I'm praying for you as you're going through your situations. It may not be your fault, but don't let circumstances uh, change your status. Don't let people who may or may not like you change your status. Uh, don't let the job change your status. When God sees your spiritual passport, uh, might he see faithful, uh, might he see committed, might he see most of all someone who loves and is able to spread, I'm getting excited about that, to spread that love. And I've traveled uh, not a lot of places, but I do own a passport. Uh, I've been able to go to Turkey in my travels. I've gone to Greece. Uh, I've gone to uh, Belgium. I've gone to Africa. And I've gone around the corner <laughs> to the store. But wherever I go, uh, I'm thankful that God comes along and he says, uh, you're faithful. Let me stamp your spiritual passport. So today, uh, just take time to engage with someone and let them know that, that I know my status. I know I love the Lord. I know who I am. And maybe you don't know the Lord. I want to just say to you that the Lord loves you and he wants to change your, your status today, and change your outlook and change who you are so that you might become a better you in the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm excited just to be able to share with you. Uh, I've been doing this since I was about five, six years old uh, before they had these cameras, is sitting down and to say what I pray is something of substance. Now, let me tell you about our ministry. We are called Harvest Christian Ministries. We're located at 7660 Bel Air Road in Baltimore County, Maryland. You can find us on our website at www.com the number two harvest.org. And you can check us out on Facebook, uh, like us on Harvest Christian Ministries. But again, I don't wanna let you go, but you got to go, you got things to do. But as you go today, just keep in your mind, I know my spiritual status is that when people see me, uh, they'll know I'm a disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ based on how I love someone else. God bless you, I pray this little nugget has been helpful. Uh, I'll make sure it is posted over and over again during the course of this week. It's just a sit down uh, with Tim Tudin in Baltimore County, Maryland. Love you in the Lord. Let's pray as we close out. Father, we thank you uh, that while we may be talking to a camera, we're really talking to persons out there who need to be encouraged in the Lord, who maybe feel down about who they are. Well, today change their status in Jesus name, amen. This has been great. I've enjoyed it. I could go longer, but again, I know you got things to do, and so do I need to go to bed on, on my time, but uh, you may be getting up. But whatever that is, uh, know that uh, God is good. Pray for me as well as I go about doing this work. And so many of those who are in uh, different countries on the mission field, pray for them. And pray for your pastor and your faith leader locally. You would be amazed 
uh, what they go through to make sure that you are fed Sunday and Wednesday and Sunday and Wednesday. Uh, it's really a high calling. I'm Dr. Tim Tootin, the pastor and founder of Harvest Christian Ministries in Baltimore County, Maryland. Uh, have a great day. Join us on next week for Facebook Live and look always for little old seeds of encouragement. Have a great day.